my wolf pack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon competitive guide videos and today we are covering Iron Treads. Now Iron Treads is a pretty fun Pokemon to use. It's got a high attack stat, high speed stat and also a high defense stat meaning that actually it can take some physical moves. So with this we have got a lot of useful singles moves but unfortunately not very many good doubles moves. It's not really a particularly good double support Pokemon, not to say it can't be used in doubles, definitely you can use it, you can definitely use it as a more of a sweeper Pokemon, but it's not got many support moves that work very well for you. So on here we've got Body Press, which is really good in conjunction with that high defense stat, Body Slam, which has the chance to paralyze, Earthquake, powerful stab attack, Facage, just in case you get burned or poisoned, no, you can't get poisoned, but burned or paralyzed, Ice Spinner, to allow you to hit other Pokemon pretty darn hard. Um, obviously Ice has good coverage, hitting things like Dragon types and also Grass types. Um, you have got Iron Defense to increase up your defense stat and working in conjunction with Body Press. You've then got Iron Head, Powerful Stab, um, Steel type move, which I really love using on a lot of different Pokemon. Knock Off to allow you to get rid of the opponent's item, because let's face it, getting rid of the opponent's item can actually completely change the match in some cases. Mega Horn is a powerful bug type move. You've got Rapid Spin to increase up your speed, which is actually really cool and also gets rid of hazards. Rock Slide as a powerful uh, rock type attack. Stealth Rocks to allow to set up any hazards. Steel Roller in case someone is trying to run Electric Terrain with um, Quark Drive. Obviously your Quark Drive would benefit as well, but if they're benefiting more, Steel Roller works. Or if they're trying to run something like Misty Terrain, um, who knows, obviously Steel Roller will get rid of that. Wild Charge for a powerful electric type attack that can just hit a few different Pokemon. And then Zen Headbutt for the opportunity to potentially flinch the opponent as well. In terms of our Terra types, we have got three Terra types that I would recommend. The first one being a Water Terra type um, in the middle there. Now, Water Terra type allows you to get rid of the majority of your weaknesses. Obviously, you've already got an immunity to electric types and you've got the ground type attacks to hit the electric types, meaning that it's probably not going to be something that comes in against you, even with the Water Terra typing. You've also got a weakness um, then to the grass types and you should be able to cover the grass types if you've got Ice Spinner on there as well. So Water Typing works for getting rid of a lot of your weaknesses and allowing you to cover those weaknesses as well. You've also got the Psychic type, it allows you to cover things like the Fighting type for super effective damage and also gets neutral on basically all of the other um, typings that can hit you for super effective damage. You've then got the Flying type as well, and a Flying type gives you an immunity to ground, obviously you're two times a week to ground and ground is a very very common uh, typing there and again kind of your weakness will be uh, rock types which you can cover with your steel typing, there'll be electric types which you can cover with your ground typing and also ice typings which again can be covered with your steel typing. So flying type definitely works really well to cover all of your weaknesses as well. I would say that water and flying types are going to be the best for your terra type but um, psychic type is definitely another alternative you can use there. I didn't cover the uh, doubles use usable moves, um, you've got protect which every Pokemon gets and also bulldoze which allows you to lower down the speed of your opponent's Pokemon giving you a bit more speed control um, and also rock slide that can work as an opportunity to flinch in doubles as well. So you know there are a couple of moves that you can use explicitly with uh, iron treads in terms of doubles but uh, it doesn't really work purely as a doubles mon where it can be used in lots of utilizable uh, positions. But that being said you don't necessarily need that to happen. Right, so let's move on to our sets. And the first set I've gone for is a Choice Scarf set. And with this, it increases up your speed by 1.5 times. So from 342 to 400, 500 and something, 510-ish, um, I think that works out as. Uh, but yeah, it makes you quite fast. You've then got Earthquake, powerful ground stab attack, Iron Head, powerful stab steel type attack, Ice Spinner, a powerful ice type move, and also Wild Charge which is a powerful electric type move. Do bear in mind that obviously with Wild Charge you do start to lose out on some of your HP because it does give you recoil as well. Now in terms of this, you can run it as max H sorry, max attack, max speed with a jolly nature, so more speed, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. Now I definitely would recommend going for the jolly nature here because it allows you to outspeed those Pokemon that are base 100 with a Scarf that are also plus speed nature. So realistically, you do need to be a little bit careful and think about what um, other Pokemon, so for example, I think Star Raptor quite often will run a Scarf, it will run uh, plus speed nature as well to allow it to outspeed as many Pokemon as it possibly can. And if you don't run the plus speed nature, that does put you at a little bit of risk. 
You could also put the booster energy on here. I probably have a booster energy set later on as well, but the booster energy could work on here to give you that plus one um, in your speed um, because of the quark drive. So that's definitely something that you could consider as an alternative to a choice scarf. Um, but then, obviously, if you get something like haste, um, which are quite common, or you have to switch out, obviously you then lose that boost. So that is going to be a problem for you. So choice scarf can be better in the long term. The second Iron Treads I've got on here is an Iron Defense Body Press set with leftovers on there. Now, Iron Defense allows you to increase up your defense power by two stages. That will take it from 372 to 544, I think. And then you can just increase that up, increase that up to 1,088 in the grand total, which realistically is absolutely huge. And Body Press will then just really hit anything hard. It will actually hit all Pokemon except for Ghost Types um, for... Um, damage whether it's resisted damage neutral or super effective damage that depends but at that point 1088 power realistically even if it's resisted that's going to do a lot you've then got knockoff which is a powerful um move in the sense that you can get rid of items but also will hit those ghost types which you can't hit for super effective damage and then also protect because you might need to stall for a turn of recovery as well there um or to bait out and see what the pokemon is doing I think that this set works out really, really nicely. You could chuck in the Stealth Rocks instead of Protect if you wanted to. Um, typically, I do that on kind of this Iron Defense Body Press set, but I think this set works out fantastically as well. EV wise, got max HP and max defense, Impish Nature, so more defense, less special attack, and four EVs in attack there. Just, I would recommend trying to get rid of the special sweepers first before bringing this set in, because then you don't have to worry about potentially having to switch out, and you can just really start to wreck through things. You could even run. Um, a little bit more of a risky set in max defense and max speed here where you set up the iron defenses and then you just body press um, hoping to be faster than every other Pokemon on the field. So that's another alternative to run as well. Moving on to the third iron treads, I have got a booster energy here and the booster energy increases up 1.3 times on your attack power. So in terms of the quark drive being activated. So your 355 goes to probably about 400 and something. Um, late 400s I think um, I'm not sure what the 1.3 times is off the top of my head would be for that but you then have a rapid spin here to increase up your speed by one um, stat so 1.5 times which would allow you to outspeed a lot of different Pokemon and rapid spin gets rid of hazards as well uh, bear in mind that you obviously aren't affected by things like toxic spikes and you take very little damage to things like stealth rocks so actually rapid spin on iron treads works really really nicely you could run on heavy duty boots on a rapid spin set, but for this one, I don't think you need to personally. Then I've gone for heavy slam. You can go for iron head, but I'm just trying to show off a few different moves. Terror blast, which can allow you to um, use any utilization of any typing that you wanted. And then Zen headbutt as well for a powerful um, psychic type attack to hit things like fighting types, for example, which are quite likely to come in on iron treads. In terms of EVs, gone for max speed, max attack with the adamant nature. Um, for this one, would be it wouldn't be adamant, it wouldn't be naughty, sorry, it would be adamant. This one is a little bit skew if because Showdown recognizes it as a um, Terror Blast as a, a special move, but actually, if the attack stat is higher, it does become a physical move. So, in this sense, it is a physical move. Um, so, just on the modification there, you've got the adamant nature, some more attack, less special attack and four EVs in special defense there. Uh, realistically, I think that's probably the best way to try and play it. Um, always go for the Adam and Nature here to get your boost in the booster energy in your attack. Otherwise, you will end up getting the boost in your speed, which will not be very good for you if that's not what you're aiming for um, with this, which you're, you're not, because the rapid spin's giving you your speed. Moving on to the fourth Iron Treads, we have got a Stealth Rock set. I've put Focus Sash on here because sometimes you're, you are going to just take a lot of damage and potentially go down to your 1 HP um, on there. We've also got Rapid Spin to be able to get rid of any hazards that have been set up. Now, obviously, with Stealth Rocks on your side of the field, you can Rapid Spin away. Um, just be cautious, obviously, of... Um, like, so the idea of this one, let me just take it back a second. The idea of this one is that you go in with this as the lead Pokemon. You set up Stealth Rocks, your opponent sets up Stealth Rocks. You then use Rapid Spin to get rid of the Stealth Rocks in your field to get you a plus one. By this point, hopefully they hit you with a hard attack that takes you down to one HP. 
If they don't, you can then use knockoff to get rid of their item. If they do, you can then use Endeavor to get them down to 1 HP as well. So that will then allow a Pokemon next time to come in and revenge kill uh, against that Pokemon, or when they next come in on the Stealth Rocks, they are going to faint. So actually, it does work out quite well in order to allow uh, for this to be a very much a lead mon. Um, in terms of if the opponent has set up hazards, then you do have to be very, very cautious when running this kind of thing. So the focus stat should be nullified as soon as um, it hits the hazards. So if you wanted to run something like leftovers, you can, but obviously the Endeavor set doesn't work as well. This is designed more specifically as a lead mon to go against a opponent's um, lead mon as well. So that's kind of the idea that I'm playing around with here. And the last one is a full-on gimmick set. Uh, this is Choice Specs. You've got base 72 in your special attack, which is not very high at all, going to be completely honest. You've got your Choice Specs. Um, Quark Drive, you can activate it for your speed here, but it doesn't really matter. I've gone for Flash Cannon, uh, which is a powerful uh, Steel-type attack boosted by Stab. Earth Power, the same, boosted by the Ground-type Stab. Thunder, as an opportunity to hit with really hard. Um, attacks and also Volt Switch as well to be able to get out of there but I'm going to be completely honest this is a full on gimmick set um, yeah it's not going to get you many wins but it's going to be interesting your opponent's probably going to be caught off guard with it so you know it could be fun, something fun and interesting to run in a random battle but not as a kind of like top level leaderboard and that's why I've labelled it as a gimmick set EV wise max special attack, max speed timid or modest nature as I said it's a gimmick set you can play around with it figure out if you can make it work but yeah that's just a bit of fun but anyways that's going to be all for today i hope you've enjoyed this if you have please do like subscribe and comment let me know what you think down in the comment section below anyways i'm going to get out of here so have a good one and i'll see you soon